<laughs> Yay. It's been quite the day, but you know, that happens. Right? <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun putting on Total Eclipse of the Heart. <laughs> <laughs> we could see it from here. Not the whole thing, but some of it. Did you see any? I, you know, it was so cloudy. You know, remember the last eclipse and like the shadows and the beautiful, yeah. I made these beautiful photographs. And this time we just looked at the shadows and there was nothing because of the cloud. Yeah, up. no, we didn't have enough sun to get the shadows. Yeah. And I love those, all the little moons. No, it's so magical. And it's cool. really cool. I know yeah. we did, there wasn't enough, but I still could see it through the glasses. Awesome. Well, yeah, I still did really an incantation cool. if that's what you're asking. <laughs> um, I know we still we still did. Hey, still there's did. Kelly. Hi, Kelly. We can't wait Hi, to Kelly. see you. Hi, <laughs> Kelly. Oh my God! All the East Coasters that we're gonna get to see. I can't wait. I know it's so exciting. We get to do a, one of the book signings, the one in DC with Bob Seska. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun. I can't yeah. wait. We're it's wait. this is gonna be a big big event. <laughs> Thanks everybody for for showing up. And if you and if you aren't able to go, please tell a friend. We're gonna if you haven't seen the yeah. post of um, the whole schedule, it's on our website goldengoosekitchen.com, and you can find out exactly where we're gonna be for two and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy town. I oh my God, we're going from D.C. to Maine, back down to Boston. <laughs> an eight city tour people for that time we ate our feelings yeah we're we're excited so yeah new york this is it it's dc baltimore um philly new york new york city um connecticut where we're coming a heart, west hartford and um let's see what else then we go to port kennebunk and portland and boston crazy yeah. Any of you Bowden peeps out there, I'd like to see you. Come on. Come on. Go to the book signings. Woo. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. You are correct, my friend. Very <laughs> exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we get to see, you know, a lot of people. We have a lot of Connecticut people. So, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be um, tagging you as we get closer. That's for sure. Yeah, we'll let you know. Believe me, you're going to be inundated. Um, <laughs> No yeah. worry about that. Um, <laughs> anyway, awesome. <laughs> how's everybody doing? The clip. There's a husband watching, watching from a couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have fun. It'll be it'll be a blast, and um, we're doing a couple television appearances on the in the Washington Baltimore area for their morning show. Woo! And just everybody. Since it is the eclipse season, and if you set your intention, you get what you want right now. Um, just think a good thought for a certain national morning show. Just keep a good thought for us, will you? Good thought. <laughs> we have our we have our fingers and toes crossed. And, but, um, and we got a, we got a booking in Portland, Oregon, for their ABC morning show, and um, Vegas. one in Las in Vegas. Vegas. Crazy Viva town. Las Vegas. <laughs> Debrion and Lisa do Vegas. Yeah, that's the it. Movie. <laughs> so, what are you making tonight, Chica? So, I was trying to think of something that was shaped like an eclipse moon or eclipse sun. <laughs> and I was reminded of in that time we ate our feelings cookbook. Um, I have a recipe for red chili honey buttermilk biscuits. Oh, look, we have a Sean. Oh, hi, Sean. <laughs> hi, Sean. That are so good and so easy. Um, and in I this thought, book. The recipe is in the book. It's in the book. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I did a fast last week, and all I want are carbs. <laughs> Lisa and her fasts. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so... It was so hard, but I mean, it felt really good to do. I think it's good for anybody. To, I'm not a doctor, but you know, to do every once in a while. But oh my gosh, I just want to eat. <laughs> I every call her every day. How you doing? She's like, I'm hungry. Yeah, biscuits. <laughs> oh, but these biscuits are so delicious. So I easy. 
I love so, biscuits so much. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm actually on page 69 of that time we ate our feelings oh, where the yeah, recipe it. is. It makes about 10 biscuits. Oh, um, so it's so easy. You preheat your oven to 425. And the easy way to do this is, yeah, there you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a combined everything in the Cuisinart or food processor because then you don't have to do the, the manual labor. It, the dough makes up real, itself up really fast. And then you just, <laughs> you know, we're going to roll it out, stick it in the pan. That's it. You put on the glaze. You put on the honey glaze afterwards. It's, it's very easy. It's a great Well, dinner. this is, Sean says she adds an E, an e before the A. <laughs> makes oh. it a piece. Oh, piece. well. Piece. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to um, paste. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I, the one thing I didn't have was buttermilk. So I went out and got some real buttermilk, but as you know, anybody who watches this show, if you don't have buttermilk, you can easily make it. You just take milk or half and half and you put lemon juice in it. And in about 15 minutes. You can minutes, actually do vinegar too. If you vinegar, don't even have yeah. lemon. It's so easy. So if you yep. don't have it, you know, it's not like we all have buttermilk hanging around unless you're Debriana. Um, you know. <laughs> but you can also freeze buttermilk. If you buy too much, you can yes. freeze it. <laughs> I'm going to freeze this afterwards because okay. I um, don't want to use it on pancakes. You know? We have a question. Do you yeah. use the dough blade? So I'm not right now. I'm just using the regular blade but you could you could use the dough blade um i just grabbed this really fast so i'm just mm -hmm. gonna do this um if you wanted to put it in um kitchen aid mixer with dough blade you could do it that way too it's just a fast rough rough and tumble it's just a you get it in the pea size and it's like boom boom mm -hmm. boom it's not a major like kneading this is no there's no kneading there's no yeast you know what I mean? So it's really fast. Easy, easy. But, so let's just put everything in. Oh, yeah. And the other thing you want to do, which this is another thing we learned during the whole, you know, Corona Kitchen experience, has been um, you freeze your butter because we are going to grate it yes. into the frozen stick of butter into the flour because it just spreads it all evenly. It, it, Combined it's easier than you know the old-fashioned way of using two forks or two knives. I mean, or, I mean you yeah. could do it that way. You can do that way too. But um, you know, but I'm nothing it, wrong with the old-fashioned way. This was a marvel to me that you could freeze butter and grate it. <laughs> I know, and it adds a lot. The thing that happens is you coat the flour on the butter, uh -huh. and then the butter, you know, kind of melts inside and makes little. It gives it the lift. Right. So, um, yeah, and you want your ingredients cold on this as mm -hmm. possible. Yeah. So I'm doing two and a half cups all-purpose flour. So I'm going to put that straight into the food processor. Mm-hmm. Here. It's really professional measuring with my finger. That's one. Biscuits are easy. <laughs> Martha uses a knife. I usually don't. Okay, here's, a, here's another question. Oh, my God. Do you altitude it? I couldn't make biscuits here to save my life until I learned it. I do really? Not. I've never had a problem. I've never had a problem. I have to tell you a story, though, since we're bringing it up. Uh, when, oh, I first, when I first moved here, I thought I needed to altitude stuff. And I was making bread. And I thought, <clears throat> I better get some gluten and add it to the bread, um, to the dough. And I kind of didn't really even know how much to add and nobody could tell me. So I yeah. added some in there and it was like, <laughs> you know, that Lucy thing, that Lucy episode where you open it and it just keeps coming out of and the that's oven. what happened. <laughs> it was so wow. funny. Oh my God. And my boyfriend at the time insisted on eating it, even though it was in that weird thing. So well, I, I let him work out. <laughs> yeah, he didn't work out. And that's probably why. <laughs> so 
while Debriana was telling that story, hey, Maggie. <laughs> I put in, this is what I put in after the two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of sea salt, uh -huh. two tablespoons of baking powder. I put, a, of course, a half teaspoon of ground flaxseed, as I do. Um, <laughs> I, I bought a bag of it today and thought of you. <laughs> and um, so right now I'm just going to pulse it to like get everything mixed, you know? Mm -hmm. for a second and then i'm gonna add the butter and the butter off okay. it's so pretty easy. cool so hey easy. Well, that's just so you know get everything mixed together yeah. the other way um, if you're not if you're not using a cuisinart you can just put it run it through a sifter or or use your whisk whisk use your whisk yeah just mix it so we're gonna add um one stick of frozen butter grated and then we're going to pulse until the flour coated butter resembles tiny peas then we're going to add honey and buttermilk um we're going to add one cup buttermilk and two teaspoons honey room temp so i'm going to get the frozen butter oh so sean is saying the two two tablespoons is the way of altituding it <laughs> oh really we didn't know this but thank you because you're like that's the the honey have it in you, Sean. <laughs> the honey's the altituding it or no, the two tablespoons of of um baking powder. Oh, is that oh, okay. You I know what? I think we figured this out for high altitude, Debriana, but we didn't say that in the book. We didn't know it. Know. Yeah. <laughs> so here's my frozen stick of butter, and I'm just gonna grate it in. Easy. Um, oh yeah, see, and that'll make it, you know, the that pea thing that you're talking about makes it go so so much faster. It's so fast, and you don't over mix that way too. And that you know that's really part of what makes a, a biscuit tender is not yeah. to mix it too much because then you're adding our dear friend gluten. <laughs> and what's wild is this butter looks like mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Who wouldn't want that in a biscuit? <laughs> I haven't had cheese in like eight days. This is the longest I've been. Oh, with cool. That. I didn't know that. I'll look it up. My whole life. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what else is happening while I grate the butter? Well, while you while you just slave over your butter. Um, let's see. Um, we will be um hopefully doing three recipes on um, Fox five in uh, their morning show in Washington, DC. We'll be doing the Harissa chicken yeah. um, out of the book and the ginger brownie bite me's and Lisa will be making the biscuits. She's doing a trial <laughs> run tonight. This is another reason like, can I still make it? We have to cook live. <laughs> so what's hard is you have to cook and talk to like a host and then it's like TV and you don't want to make a mistake and you don't want to forget what you need to say. And it's a lot of, you know, that's a lot of balls to juggle, right? Yeah. A lot of balls to juggle, but we, you know, it's, we've been juggling these balls for like, Oh, I don't know, four years. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but TV always goes so fast. That's what amazes me. Like when we did, um, you know, KTLA that show in LA. Yeah, I, I agree. Mo I mostly do. Okay. I don't really have trouble. It was such a flash. It was like I don't even know what we did. Like, yeah, what that we KTLA did. show. I know we were just, we were there, and then we were done <laughs> oh having God, coffee from place downtown LA. And it was so funny because remember the host just was just scarfing your meatloaf like there's no tomorrow. I know, it was really funny. I mean, when I say there was no tomorrow for her, yeah, yeah, so, it was great. Just like this, so, we're. We're super excited. We're coming to New York City. To oh my God. To a really great place called Fish's Eddy. We're who knows Fish's Eddy out there? It's the yeah, best anybody, it's a great shop. So we're very excited to be there. And we're going to be at the Cannabunk Port Library. <laughs> it's so cute. And where's no. the, where are we going? What's the place in Portland? Oh, Portland. I have to look it up. I forget the None name. Such? None Such? Oh, None Such. Yeah, None Such. Yeah. So, 
Um, we have Bus Boys and Poets, um, April 14th at five o'clock. That's with Bob Suska. Yeah. I'm exhausted. I know. Keep going, keep going. The eyes and the top. And, and the thing is that the um the bus boys and poets will be serving dinner at their restaurant um, that's attached to the bookshop. And the Ivy is at the cafe. They're called the Bird Bird in Hand Cafe. That's going to be um, fun. Mm -hmm. um, in Philadelphia, we're going to be at Head House Books at 630 on the 17th. Yay. On the 19th at Fish's Eddie at 6 in New York City. On Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> Barnes and Noble in West Hartford on the 20th at one o'clock. Um, the Graves Library in Kennebunkport on the 21st at two, and then Portland on the 23rd. And in between that, we're going to do a TV, a Zoom TV appearance um, at Port in Portland, Oregon. And then we're going to Porter Square Books uh, and in Boston on the 24th. That is a lot, Debriana. Who's doing that? Oh, wait, you and me. No, yeah, we are. <laughs> We're going to live on coffee. Um, and Sean would like to remind us that we cannot swear on TV. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Hey, I mean, look what she did. A mountain. A mountain of butter. Woo! Mountain of butter. Okay. All right. I did it. I, I got my arm workout. See? All of the yeah. positives. All right. See, that's all you had to do. And then you didn't have to fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm going to pulse it till the pea texture. Okay. Go, oh, girl. <laughs> it's it out very quick now since the butter's all grated. Because, you know, easy peasy. Look at that. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. I can't see half your head. <laughs> Quick, quick, fast so little bunny. <laughs> Anybody out there remember this? It's done in no notes. <laughs> okay. So right now, if you look really close, and I'm on. Um, uh, Are you done yet? <laughs> let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. So it starts to develop oh look at her. <laughs> she's got a camera <laughs> look at that ecu yeah she's close up that's okay. it yeah so movie this, language that's an extreme if you part. can see my kitchen right now the camera is on my clean dishes pile okay well, anyway clean that's good <laughs> <laughs> the clean ones <laughs> um okay so then what you do we're gonna add the buttermilk and it's cold and we need one cup so I'm going to shake it because yeah, it's thick. Buttermilk needs to get evenly distributed with the big chunk of butter. <laughs> Yay! What could be better? Yeah, buttermilk. Butter yeah. Okay, and then I have some raw and unfiltered Rocky Mountain honey. Oh yay! So that's going to be good. Yeah. Not it going to suck. Well, no, it's not. And and it it's probably good to eat local honey right about now when you know all the um pollen is out in the air. I'm putting in the buttermilk. Woo! Nice. And then it's um two teaspoons of honey. Okay, and you're not putting chili in the biscuits, you're putting it in the honey, right? I'm not. I'm putting okay. it in the glaze, but you know what? You could. What? Yeah. You totally could. You totally could. You Should know I? what made me think of that is because Trader Joe's has that chili honey. I was right. like, hmm, maybe we should put that in the biscuits next time. <laughs> I mean, we completely could. I, I'm i kind of making these, um, you know, chili free on the inside because I might put my beef bourguignon over the biscuit. <laughs> That I made yesterday. <laughs> this is called the fast is over. It's like, oh my god, I'm starving. Right, let's make beef working out. Okay. No, oh, hi, I, Rosie. Hi. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Hit it, hit it, girl. Here, 
don't forget. It's so fast. Don't, don't forget to write your review <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's making an appearance. Okay, so see, look at this. So see, this is what you want. This is why the Cuisine Art rocks. Okay, look at that. See? Yeah, baby. Oh, dough. Now we got the dough. Now yeah. we're going to go to another part of La Cuisine. And we're going to go over here. And I'm going to roll out this dough. Okay, okay. Onto the surface. I don't even know. Nice. Actually, I'm going to go over here. What am I doing? I don't oh, have good. an assistant. I have no assistants. Okay. So I, I think you can see me. Okay. Uh, so this is really easy. Um, of course, test, taste the dough. Okay. Yum. Um, oh, my God. Cool. After a fast, well, I'll eat anything, even dough. <laughs> I just, I look, I have a confession to make. Okay. Um, I love buttermilk. Like, I, it. I love buttermilk. Yeah. You know? I do too. So I just I made I made buttermilk chicken yesterday. I, I, I love buttermilk. Do you know that's what I'm talking about? All right. So when you take it out, so easy. The machine does all the work for you. Um, and you just it's like rough, but it's it's still perfectly sticking together. And I'm just going to roll it out, and then I'm going to take oh, like a your, bar your Barbie rolling pin. <laughs> it's a total Barbie rolling pin. That's awesome. I was at a concert the other night, and some guy walked in, and he had I Am Knuff t-shirt on. I live for that. I want that sweatshirt. I've seen I know. I have to get one. I would love to have it. Okay. So I'm just going to look, it's so easy. It's just not even, I don't have to even do anything. It's yeah. You probably easy. don't even really need the Barbie rolling pin. You don't even need to um, do anything. It's stuck together. Absolutely. Perfectly. I'm just flowering this. So it'll come off the surface, I'm flowering it a little bit on the top and then I'm going to um, roll it. Yes, it is very good. I agree. I didn't, okay. I didn't do a batter chicken. I just, I marinated my chicken in buttermilk, a big roasted chicken. And I let, I usually let it go for, I don't know, eight hours, kind of, kind of overnight-ish, but I got up really early and did the, and did a buttermilk brine and it was delicious. So this is kind of the moment of truth. You say to yourself, do I, how tall do I want the biscuits to be? Because I can really fit 10 and a 12 inch a cast iron skillet, which is just how they're going to cook. Uh -huh. um, but if I make them, you know, a little thinner, they won't be as tall. But if I, I try, I oh, want the thin the kind, the, the diet kind. The diet kind. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a glass that, that glass that's the circumference of what I want it to be for these biscuits. So let okay. me see. What I'm not sure. She's so, she's so good. Here's me. I'm like, I roll it into a square and cut them. <laughs> Lisa's so I'm nice. She does such pretty designs. I'm like, just get a knife, cut them. <laughs> so here's, look, see, look at this. So easy. Look, perfect. Mm -hmm. yep. so I'm going to do as many as I can. I Let think I can fit time. 10. I think I can fit 10. I have to tell you, Sean, I, d I used the brine from the pickled garlic that you gave me Ooh. in buttermilk chicken, and it was delicious. Oh, my God. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. So oh, look, look at her go. Look at her go. So what are they, about a half an inch thick? What did you roll out? I mean, I would say three quarters of an inch, actually. Okay. Because I did not flatten this. I just okay. pressed it together. And yeah. then, you know, because you don't. And, and, you look, and you looked at the at at the, at the the rolling pin. We all looked at the rolling pin, and then she pressed them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to fit one more. I know. It was. Thank you very much for that garlic, because it was yummy in my chicken. <laughs> How many do I have here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got to get two more. And I'm just going to, like press this together because I don't want to flatten what I got going on. I'm going to well, have extra. <laughs> oh, huh. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, 
I'm going to put them in another pan, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, here comes Barbie. <laughs> thanks, Barbie. It is, this is silicone, and so it's fantastic. Nothing ever sticks. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. I have a, a really nice, um, here, it's right here. <laughs> marble one. <laughs> oh, that's my dream. I love marble. The marble one. That's because I'm Italian, I had to have a marble one. <laughs> of course you did. Okay, let's talk about our dreams for a second. I really want to have a marble work surface to make pastries and breads and stuff. That's oh, that's nice. You know, I want that stove that I found. Oh, my God. oh yeah. Oh, the, it, I want it. I want it so bad. Uh. I know. I found this great stove on Wayfair and it's a 36 inch stove. So it has two ovens. They're side by side, one big one, one small one and six burners, something like that. I think it was it's beautiful burners. and it's gorgeous. Once you have a good stove, like, you know, that's all you need. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. I did. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. I got more out of Oh, this no. Thing. Some Facebook user who I don't know because I can't tell has a marble rolling surface and loves it. Well, that is fabulous. And more power to you. I'm just going to taste this for one second. Okay. But you could also, like for me, I don't, ha I don't have that. But I could get a slab of marble and put it on my uh, kitchen yeah, island. That's true. You could do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the easy part. Look, this is going to go right into the 425 oven. We just take your cast iron pan, right? And that, oh, oh, Sean's telling it's it's Evangeline. Thanks, Evangeline. Okay, <laughs> she's the one with the marble rolling surface. Oh, is fantastic! She? Oh, good for you. Can I live vicariously through? So I'm going to coat this with melted butter, <laughs> of course. Yes, because and, butter uh, is good for you. <laughs> and so, you know, um, and it's unsalted. There's so I'm just coating the in inside. Butter. I'm convinced of it. Coating the inside. Mm -mm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fit all the biscuits in here. And then we're going to do it one is. last buttermilk wash and put oh. them in the oven. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So is your pan heated up or it's not? Um, it was just on the stove. It's okay, so it's not pan, cold. But yeah. I, okay. I did not heat it. Okay. Well, Facebook user who has a slab of marble, I'm I'm using your idea and I'm gonna get one. <laughs> so but I do have to say I I love my marble rolling pin. I also love it because it's heavy. Yeah. So you're not, you don't have to um, use as much, you know, it doesn't take as much work. So you know what I'm going to do, Debriana? I'm I gonna fit, don't. Yes. I'm going to fit four. Okay, so this is um 10 and I had three extra. I have a small pan. Yeah, I have my, my small <laughs> cast iron. I could give it to you. Yeah. I'm just going to do another one because I didn't realize I'd have extra, so... Yay. I love cooking in my in my cast iron. I that I actually will roast my chicken in there sometimes. I there's nothing better than a seasoned amazing cast iron pan. It's yeah. Fantastic. I use yep. it for I love it. Okay. So the last, final three are going to go in here. All right. Beautiful. The Trinity. And then yes. we're going to do a little buttermilk wash. And that's it. And then I'll awesome. explain what happens. Dinner is served. <laughs> I'll explain what happens at right after that. Okay, so where's my upper? So oh, yay. the tops really thoroughly. Oh, yeah, biscuits. Eclipse goods. Did you, so did anybody else out there get to see the eclipse? We saw uh, we saw it a little bit here. We had glasses though. We used our glasses. <laughs> yeah, gotta use your glasses. I can't. We have glasses left from the last eclipse. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. You just um, have them in a drawer? Yeah, I saved them. And I don't, you know, I don't know why I did, but then they came in handy today. Yay. I only have 3D glasses. And I was like, oh, no, this isn't going to work. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. All right. So this is looking good. We're going to go into the 425 oven for how long, Debriana? Do you have the recipe? I do. I do. I will let you know. It's on page 69 in our cookbook. Please write a review <laughs> in case I didn't say that. Let's see. 425 uh, to, for about 20 minutes. Okay. Off they go. That's it. Au revoir. Putting them in the oven. Okay. I'm on. Yeah. Gonna be eating some biscuits. Yeah. yeah. We're still having chilly weather, so biscuits are good. Yes. It was it was chilly today for sure. Even though my I'm just my fruit trees are blooming. So, you know, this is if those of you who've been with us for four years know this is the finger cross time part of the season. <laughs> they call it whiplash season in New Mexico. Mm. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the glaze. So okay. when they come out, um, you prepare the honey butter. So it's just a tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons salted melted butter, and mm. then a teaspoon you can do a half to a full teaspoon, depending on your chili level, of Chimayo Red. Mm-hmm. Yum. Chili. So, pretty good. Oh, nice. That's good to know. So, that's all I got. That's it. Mm, cream. <laughs> Yay. <Yeah>. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get I'll save you, I'll save you. Kids. I'll save you some. I'll save all right. You. Thank you. <laughs> we're having pasta tonight so you know is it bad if i have biscuits and popcorn for dinner <laughs> no it's not no you're you're an adult you're allowed to make your own choices thank you <laughs> you're welcome thank you so much um but yeah we're so excited um to be going on this tour and thank you again everybody for your support it just means mm -hmm. the world to us yeah. Um, wouldn't be able to do it without you, honestly. Hey, there's some groups to join. I went to my first Democratic meeting uh, on Sunday. When was that? Sunday. Yes, it was yesterday. And there were a lot of people there. Now, I'm going to share a little information I got at that meeting. Okay. We, in our um, area, we have a very high turnout, and we're, we're working to get more young voters and people who were not registered. Um, uh, to to um, get them all registered and ready to vote. But because we have a high turnout here, we were able to knock out four or five, I can't remember what, um, Republican, very red districts. And we were able to get our, our governor elected because of it. So every vote counts. Everything you can do counts. Um, I will be walking neighborhoods and I've already started phone banking. So come on, let's do it. You can do it. Oh my God. Do what you can do. What you can. We got to make this happen. People. <laughs> yes. We got to do it. Yeah. Don't Cause play. you know, they're coming for all of our rights. And if you think just cause yours weren't taken yet, <laughs> they will be coming for you too. This so let's get it done. Really let's do this. And it's going to be really fun to be in D.C. when we're there, uh, you know. Our oh, oh, even more. New York. New York, New York. Yes. Where the well, trials are. <laughs> so we're going to have, so while, so this is going to be the last show for a while, for a couple of weeks probably. But we're going to post videos. We're going to, um, oh, we're going um, to be in front of the White House. <laughs> We're going to be, we're gonna be at the politics, at Busboys and Poets. We're going to be in New York. All kinds of crazy stuff is going to be happening. So we're going to get into it. We're going to show you, you know, where we're eating, all the different kinds of things. It's going to be so fun. Anyway, yeah. thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. So please remember to write your review on, on Amazon. That would help us out a lot. And one last thing. 
I'm just gonna put this out, throw this out there. Anybody wants to throw us a couple bucks for the tour, the GoFundMe Go link me. is um, on the post from the banner with the beautiful swordfish stew that Christy Kluke did. Um, so the GoFundMe link's there. If you, you know, you're feeling a little generous, it's expensive, we gotta pay this ourselves. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we love you guys. We love you guys. We'll, you. we'll talk to you from the road. Tell your friends, come see us. Woo! <laughs>